Okay guys, so an update with Isla. Hopefully this is a good update. So, um, we I finally made the decision to take her back to the vets. Really, really nervous about it. And I personally couldn't go and I think it was just because of what happened with Pee Wee when we had taken him to the vets and I just got very, very anxious. And thankfully, my mum and dad <laughs> stepped in and said they'd take her. So, they took her and she had another x-ray done and the eggs have disappeared. So, either she has reabsorbed them or laid them. Now, even now, because the vet couldn't feel them in her and I can't really feel them in her, so she must have only done this literally today or overnight because I could feel them last night, which is, well, I think I could feel them last night. So now I'm gonna look around her tank and I'm gonna look around an enclosure I put her in that you may not have seen, um, literally I was like okay she needs to just be in substrate that she can lay her eggs in and I made sure it was warm and lots of substrates. So we're gonna go and look in there, maybe they're in there, maybe they're in her bigger terrarium. So let's go and have a look. Just a quick side note, if anyone is taking their reptiles to the vets and it's like really cold right now, what I've actually used as a heater is these um, little uh, hand warmer things um, they last for like up to 10 hours and they're nice and warm but they're not boiling hot so she's actually a really nice comfortable temperature and one last thing because everything keeps coming back to me she weighed 39 grams and literally maybe two days ago I weighed her and she was 36 grams so I don't know what's going on with this girl's weight but she's a, got a good weight so this is what I put her in uh, for only like a day or two and it was just like a last resort situation I was like okay if we just show her substrate just substrate and two hides and a heat mat that's underneath but it wasn't too hot because of the thickness of the substrate um maybe she'd lay them in here and I honestly didn't think she had and I'm still not sure she has because I'm pretty sure I could still feel the eggs after I took her out of here but we will have another look <laughs> Right, so they weren't in there, um, so now we have to tackle this and we don't even really know if we are looking for eggs because we don't know if she's resolved them, but at the same time I think if she's carrying them that long, you would think they would have had shells on them. So um, a, I'm actually taking some of these plants out, you may have seen in my video the other day I said a lot of these are dying, so I'm either going to like take them out and try to care for them outside the terrarium, reintroduce them, or I'm going to take out like a taken out the uh, Fetonia here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the leaves to some wood lice um, but it will, should make my job easier because a lot of these plants this whole tank needs redoing. So I've pretty much taken apart this tank and I've even taken out this plant but I think I know why it wasn't doing too well because it's kind of still like that. I think I need to break that up a bit, the roots. Um, I also have found that that's probably where all the wood lice in this tank have been living. They absolutely love it. Um, but I am still none the wiser where these eggs are. Like, as you can see by her, like, her shape, just make it darker, um, like, it looks like she's carrying eggs, but when you actually feel it, it feels empty. So, I've looked everywhere, and I literally can't find the eggs, and as you can see, like, I have pretty much removed a lot of the plants and that looks half dead but I am planning to replant this whole area and also I found that the dirt was really dry so that might be another reason why this tank has failed a bit um but what do you guys think do you think she's reabsorbed them or laid them somewhere I swear I've tried to look everywhere but if you've ever seen crested gecko eggs they're surprisingly small and I swear Lyra's laid eggs in her tank and I would never ever find them. Luckily they're not fertile so we don't have to worry about babies coming out. But yeah, if we compare the two x-rays and if and when I feel here, she's just oh, she's just soft and squidgy. Like there's no eggs there. Um, and also she made a squeak sound when I picked her up a minute ago, which was very strange, never heard her do that. But yes, um, what an interesting turn up for the books. They've been in there for about seven or eight months and suddenly they've disappeared. So, thanks for watching this video guys and goodbye.